Yes. Just yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first, I would like to thank you know the BAS and uh, Tata Motors you know for giving me this great opportunity to be a presenter in this uh, seminar. And also, you no, know, uh, I would like to welcome each one of you for this you know thirty minute session. And uh, also, you no, know, I would like to thank Guru Raj because he has given a very nice uh, introduction on the rail bearing. So, you no, know, it has almost you know saved another ten fifteen minutes for me. So I am not covering anything you know which he already covered. So this is uh, my this is my agenda. First, no, I'll just uh, quickly go through you know, the Timken product range, and then no uh, new innovations you know on the rail bearing what we had in the you know previous uh, five years, and also no then I will go through you know in detail about you no know, the EN standards and the AR standards because those are the two standards you no know, uh, we regularly use in India, and then I will uh, take you through. Some of the you no know, best testing facility, you no know, what we have. So we have you no know, one of the best facility in the whole world. Maybe I will just you no know, take you through and uh, show all the machines what we have. So uh, some of the products you know here. Uh, uh, these are the you no know, we have uh, inch product as well as you know the metric product. Inch you know you can see here. Uh, like you no know, B C D E F G. L K M. So all these, you know, the, depending on the axle uh, diameter and uh, you know the axle load, these bearings are you know selected. So we have you know both in uh, inch as well as you know in the metric. Uh, but here I'm just showing the in inch. Uh, here also, you know, there are two designs. One is you know AP design, and another one is AP two design. AP design is a very old design, where you know you can see the length of the bearing is you know uh, very high, you know. Because uh, here you have uh, there is a seal wear ring, the seals are sitting outside the bearing. But in recent uh, development, no, like uh, what uh, no, Guraj has told, so we have uh, now moved to no the new design. So where in which the you can see here, you no know, the seals are sitting on the inner ring itself. So we were able to make you no know, the whole bearing very compact. And also, you no know, these bearings are you no know, uh, greased, uh, uh, pre-greased. Uh, sealed and you no know, set bearings. So uh, in the below, you no, know, you can see the components. So you have you no, know, this is a cup. This is nothing but this outer ring. Then you have you no know, uh, cone, two cones. So here you can see with the rollers, and then you have one seal here, and another seal here, and there is a you no know, a bore clip here, which connects with the you no know, backing ring. So. Uh, so we have you know full uh, series you know it goes up to maybe 40 ton uh, axle load maybe from you know 20 ton to 40 ton so the whole range we have here on the metric uh, side you now we have you uh, know you can see here from 100 dia up to you no know, 160 dia we have you no know? uh, these are most of the bearings are used in the european you know, uh, region and also in india we are uh, using lot of these bearing currently you know if you see UAC 130, you know, that goes, there are two designs, 130, uh, 230 and 130, 240. So, those bearings are, you know, mostly used here. And, you know, we have, uh, you know, uh, here, different speed also you have, like 160, less than 160, maybe for our, uh, you know, normal uh, train applications, where, you know, uh, more than uh, 200, we are not using anything here. But I think the nearest will be one day, you know, Bharat uh, train, where we are you know, trying up to 180 km per hour, but our yes, yes, all these bearings are metric. So, metric is always you no, know, everything is in uh, uh, millimeter. So, we have you no know, bearing with uh, you no know, more than 200 uh, km also, you no, know, whatever some of the you know, Talgo which runs in uh, you know, Italy. So, those uh, trains are you no. Know, uh, runs much you know, higher speed up to 300 350 kilometer per hour so we have all the you know, products with the different speeds and we also have different uh, combination you know, on the seal side you know. here you have uh, hdl seal and uh, eco 10 seal maybe i will show those things in the you know, coming slides so uh, we have uh, gen, uh, you know, gen 1 generation 1 
generation 2 and this is the latest generation this is called you no know, the ecotan seal where there is no contact you no know, between it is like a no no non contact type of seal so this is the latest one you now if you take you know the vande bharat train we have used this so you know this this maybe i will explain uh, the total design on this you know in the next slide so here now you can see uh, it is a patent design sorry so here you can see you know all around you no know, there is no contact at all so basically you know it offers zero torque uh, and then uh, minimizes you know, um, of, you know, any temperature increase you know in the bearing so you know that will avoid any you know removal of the you know uh, bogey from the you know uh, train and also you know it uh, you know uh, prevents you know any water coming inside the bearing and also you know uh, any grease uh, weepage you know it stops so and also you know it reduces water etching and you know the corrosion part so here you no know, i have put one you know this is basically part of our document we have done the actual you know field trials where you can see here if you have a train with 100 wagons and you know if you run for one year the total saving will be around you no know, 13400 gallons of you know you know the diesel or you know equivalent so there is so much saving you no know, by using this seal so that is the reason you no know, nowadays you know most of our uh, new generation uh, rail bearing comes with this eco turn particularly in india you no know, the first time you used on one uh, day bharat you know uh, train uh, another uh, new product is you no know, this universal backing ring so basically you know the backing ring is uh, this one so this you will have a tight fit on the axle because if there any any you know looseness will basically you know uh, will wear out you know the bearing uh, you know the face so that will uh, create problem in the bearing so uh, we have designed a special uh, you know tube where you no know, uh, even after you no know, uh, using maybe uh, you know uh, many years you no know, there is no fretting or there is no you know uh, dimensional variation even though if there is a you know because of uh, you know fretting the dimensional variation this tube will make sure you no know, the constant pressure no between no the axle and the backing ring so this is no currently we have uh, developed and no it is uh, ar approved and uh, no we are using in uh, i think you know this is in class uh, f bearing no we are already implemented so we are planning to put this no no backing ring is basically no this is axle this is axle shaft maybe i will go to previous slide where it is Ah, here no this is you now the axle right so this part is the backing ring so basically you know that sits on the axle axial load is taken through that to the axle so you know it is you know directly in contact with the bearing you know uh, back face yeah. ah, inner ring cone so this is another uh, development no from uh, our side and also now we are uh, supplying no all the no uh, housings and uh, no control arms no for uh, different customers uh, no in india and outside india also so all these are no some of the housings what we developed no here next no i will go through the bearing standards so basically no we have uh, two standards en uh, 12080 8182 and uh, second one is no uh, ar uh, no m934 standard so these are the two standards no we use in the rail industry so the first one is no basically you know this is uh, uh, railway application basically you know for the testing of uh, axle box so that is 12082 so we test as a whole you know uh, assembly that includes you know the bearing seal grease everything and uh, second one is you no know, basically part of you no know, uh, uh, association of american uh, railway uh, so uh, 
basically you know they are you know having uh, different you uh, know sections in that uh, standard so what we are interested is you know m934 which talks about you know the journal bearing and the lubrication part so first i will go through you know the en12080 so uh, here basically you know 12080 talks about you know the whole uh, design and then the manufacturing quality control you know the uh, frozen supply chain uh, and then also you know full traceability that is very important you know for all these uh, rail bearings where you should be able to even go to the you know the melting shop you know where the you know the melt you know, the you know the bearing is you know uh, started you know with the forging from that stage you know up to the you know final stage you have to you should, should have a traceability that is very important you know for this uh, 120 you know 80 and also you now you should be able to do non destructive testing where you know we use uh, ultrasonic um, you know machines just to see whether any you know deformation uh, any deformities are there you know within the you know uh, uh, cone cup and other you know components and uh, we have en 12081 for grease testing and then uh, 12082 this is for the you know homologation of testing of the you know, full axle box this is basically the approval process everybody has to you know go through that so basically you know here you can see uh any changes you no know, if you have make once you no know, you make the bearing then you give for the testing you no know, we test we approve later if there is any change you no know, in the design or any manufacturing process or any manufacturing plant once again you, know, you have to go through the same process so that is the reason you now we avoid you no know, moving these you know uh, parts or making any changes in the you know product you no know, uh, to avoid you know these type of things uh next i am talking about you no know, uh, the uh, the actual approval testing you no know, for 12082 so here basically you no know, first thing you no know, the lab the testing lab should be approved by you no know, the you uh, know uh, uh, here in india it is nabl uh, we should approve you no know, our rig for iso 17025 and then also you no know, uh, uh, maybe if it is in uh, uh europe that will be cofrac so that organization will you no know, come and audit our uh, lab and then they will approve you now here basically what we do you no know, we apply you know we take the application load and then we add 20% for any you know uh, higher loads and then also you know the same speed and then we increase 10 10% so for vande bharat you know we uh, run the test basically the requirement was 200 km per hour but we ran for 220 20 km per hour on our you know test rig uh, and then also you no know, here uh, you have you have to run these are not uh, short uh, duration test these are all like you no know, the minimum is 100000 km that takes one month 24 by 7 so uh, otherwise you no know, if it is uh, normal uh, you no know, approval process then it may be depending on your you know the speed uh the train speed you no know, they decide whether it is 400000 kilometers or 800000 kilometers so this is basically decided by the standard once you tell you no know, this is the axle load this is you know the speed of the uh, you know bearing then automatically you get what you should test on your rig so the standard gives you no know, this is the radial load this is the axial load this is the kilometer you have to run and this is the temperature you have to maintain so automatically you know everything is given by this standard so it was very you know well established you know standard so even you know most of the people now even if you take china or russia most even us they follow you no know, we don't do anything much on you know uh, on the passenger side in us it is more on the freight side because in us you no know, the passenger trains are not running at very high speed it is very slow speed so even there you no know, there we use this en12082 82 for our you no know, testing approvals so basically you know here what we do is you know uh, once complete the test there are three things we check the temperature so i think you know here basically you know everything is depending on the temperature so if the temperature is very smooth then your bearing you know will have no issues so that is the reason the output what we check is only the temperature we see one thing you no know, should never go above 100 degree centigrade and second thing you no know, the difference between inner and outer should not go beyond you know 20 degree or 15 degree depending on the test so those are the two parameters you know you have to run continuously for you know maybe 400000 or 800000 and then you have to check 
So if everything is fine, then uh, the bearing is approved. So and then also no, after second uh, thing, what we do the you know mechanical properties. We open the bearing and we see whether any damages are there. You no, know, how is the condition of the raceway? You no know, rollers, everything. You no, know, there should not be any you know uh, damages or any wear mark. Uh, you uh, know on the raceways or on the rollers and third thing is we do a detailed grease analysis because that is very important the grease tells you know how well the bearing has run so the properties of the you know, grease tells you know whether the bearing is running very smoothly or that is not not running very smoothly because whatever you know the final you know testing we do once we remove the grease so then you know the grease analysis tells how well that bearing has run so these are the three things you now we No, uh, usually it, it is not there. But you uh, know, if you have any issues, any you know uh, surface uh, cracks or anything, then we do detail uh, thorough analysis. But our experience, you know, because you know we use uh, very clean steel, we never you know had any issues of you know any damages on the raceway. Even you now, now currently we are running one test for two million kilometer. Two million kilometer, it will run one and a half year continuously. So twenty four by seven. So uh, that is for the you know, new generation grease, where two kil million kilometer you need not change the grease. So usually, you no, know, we will not see any issue on the you know, uh, raceways. So uh, our own steel. So uh, no, uh, we give the you know, we uh, tell our uh, suppliers. To give the steel, and then you know each heat, whatever we get, we do a you know, ultrasound uh, testing, and we see what is the you know, uh, size of you know, these um, what you call uh, foreign particles or inclusions in the you know, steel. We check from that stage. If anything, you no, know, you have a range, you know that maybe you know you can have maybe you know uh, 15. inclusions per inch area so we have set our own standard that is you know all ip related even i don't know so only thing is decided by the our uh, no metallurgy team in us so that makes you know your steel clean because if you have any contamination at that time itself we you know we stop that heat because if you have any issues there no then it will you know your bearing will not perform because maybe 70 80% of the you know your bearing life depends on the cleanliness of the steel So we give top priority for the cleanliness of the steel. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. See, whatever we use for uh, aerospace steel, that is called vacuum inward melt. No vacuum. No, no, no. That is no. If you do that, no, your bearing cost will be already people are no. No, no. That is no. If you do that, no, your bearing cost will be already people are no. No, no. That we do only for the no aerospace bearing. So that no, we don't do here. That is done only in US. So, but the rest of the quality, you know. Uh, i am not very sure no because okay okay maybe in but but what we do no every heat before that is sending to the forging we cut and then we take a specimen test every you know heat correct correct yes no 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 way That, that cost maybe you know five times you know maybe yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And that just is only for aerospace correct correct, correct. correct. because correct. aerospace bearing price also like that no and uh, no because uh, reliability is so high no even customer is ready to pay no no 
okay next thing is no water tightness uh, testing basically you know here we check how much water will enter inside the bearing so that is also very important you now because these bearings are running outside so that test you now we will you know, we do actually you now i will show that in the future slides and then uh, last thing is field trials basically you now here field trials you no know, uh, the iso 12082 they don't tell anything about that but is it between you and the customer but you now usually you know we will be in touch with the customer so that we do the follow up and we see the report how our product is you know running so these are the three you know uh, things and uh, in case of uh, ar you no know, so uh, it is you know uh, used in north uh, america you know like us uh, mexico and uh, you know uh, canada uh, and here you can see you know there are different uh, sections but what we you know uh, interested is only you know section h2 that deals with the you know, uh, roller bearing and also uh, the a standard very clearly tells you know what is the you no know, fits or you know what is the envelope dimension what is the tolerance everything is you know given very clearly and also you know they have given uh, like approval me methodology what you have to do you know everything is you know clearly explained in this somebody asked you know whether uh, anywhere we get so you get in these uh, documents you know clearly each and everything you know they you know explain so it is it is a you know uh, excellent uh, document and then also you know uh, you have a you know interchangeability 100% you have interchange the uh, ar make sure that you know even uh, if you are using you know escape bearing you can replace with timkin or fag because the dimension is 100% you know same even the tolerance should be same even the mating member tolerance will be same so that way you know the standard you know maintains and uh, you know if you are uh, having a you know ba new bearing which uh, has you no know, lower uh, load requirement uh, compared to the existing you know approved bearing then you need not go through the testing you can directly you know get the you know uh, approval because of you know this is lower load definitely you know your bearing will perform so that concession you no know, actually you know ar gives but whereas you know in case of uh, uh, 12082 usually they will the customer will tell us just run maybe 100000 kilometers big they want to make sure you no know, everything is uh, no perfect because the design also you no know, we are not very sure you no know, whether any changes they have made on the on their design side so here you can see you know there are different uh, you know, uh, manuals roller bearing m934 you, you have each section you know, where seals m959 adapter also known m924 you have grease also you no know, they have already approved grease so if you are using the same approved grease then you need not do any testing and then also you no know, you can do add new grease by going through the testing and then you have a you know uh, standard for spacer seam wearing and end caps okay so maybe i will quickly run through this so here you can see you no know, this is you no know, ghost it is basically for the russian but you uh, know most of the things are you no know, uh, en12082 uh, and then even uh, we uh, supply a lot of bearing for china they also have their own uh, standards they follow you no know, tb3000 you know 2000 but you know most of the things are you no know, en12082 so overall you now if you see uh china they only concentrate more on the axle box testing nothing much but whereas uh, european standard you no know, you do bearing manufacturing part grease testing and you no know, the axle box testing if you take ar that is you know covering everything so you can see even the bearing part numbers are covered approved grease list are covered everything is covered in the you no know, uh, ar standard so i will just run through you no know, some of the capability what we have timkin so this is uh, you know the uh, test rig where we test our bearings so basically you know here you can see you know the control uh, you know, the axle box with the bearing and you uh, know you have uh, you know the fans which will blow at 8 to 10 meter per uh, no, second speed and then no, uh, you will apply axial load in either direction and then you have a radial load so and then you measure the temperature at a different location and see what is the difference uh, so here you can see we actually have four rigs these rigs are no really costly rigs no it is more than 10 crore no one machine will cost so we have no four machines two in europe and two in bangalore so we are very fortunate and indian actually you know the railways you uh, know we use these rigs mostly for you know indian and other asian customers so 
you know, nobody else has you know such uh, you know, great facility in india as well as in the world uh, these are the two rigs you know what we have in bangalore the other two rigs you know uh, is in the you know europe so you can see here this is a sorry this is a new rig uh, maybe this is just you know one year old we paid almost like you know 12 crores for the machine you know so but it is uh, totally you know uh, with the all latest install instrumentation and you know uh, currently we are running you know that 2 million kilometer test on this rig and then we have another rig where you no know, there it is shaft is rotating we have other you uh, know uh, option of housing rotating in some application no housing also may be rotating so for testing that you no know, we have another rig so this is the arrangement where you can see you no know, the housing is fixed whereas shaft is stationary so we have that option also we have one rig uh, in us so where you can test up to 13 ton you no know, on one side it is 26 ton you no know, you can totally on the axle weight you can test and then also you now you can apply 6 and 1/2 ton radi uh, axial load on either direction and it can run at you uh, know 2000 rpm you can test up to 350 mm no wood bearing uh so maybe i will quickly run through this so these are some of the you no know, acceptance criteria this i already covered so i will quickly go to the next one so this is for the grease so here you can see you no know, the uh, basically you know this specifies the quality uh, requirement of greases intended for the lubrication of the axle boss you know uh, rolling bearing uh, according to you no know, 12080 the you know basic uh, uh, standard so basically here approval you no know, we have to uh, run you uh, know we can run three uh, test one is you no know, mandatory test some places you no know, we have to run mandatory and complete and uh, conditional approval wherever you need only you no know, you can do mandatory and uh, conditional so that detail is given in the standard and then we have uh, the third one is you no know, water uh, tightness test basically you no know, here here you no know, we uh, simulate the actual you no know, uh, uh, track condition and then we run the product and we you no know, um, pour the water on the bearing uh, maybe i could show that in other so here you can see uh, basically you know here it's a bearing it is you know we have uh, different uh, test we run at uh, you know static condition or we may run at 25% of the speed you know uh, 50% and 100% of the speed and then we run at a different uh, the speed that depends on the diameter of the bearing and then we check 4 hours and then after that we open the bearing and we see how much you know water has entered inside the bearing so this you know we are have many rigs you know in the us so that's all from my end you know on the you know uh, testing mm -hmm. and the standard side thank you uh, thank you babu sir for this uh, very informative presentation from timken uh, now it is a time for questions uh, so just wanted to know that uh, the major players actually timken skf and fg i think they are the three major players here uh, and no i think you have uh, uh, nei in ai also yeah for uh, um um fg i think not much they are there hmm. but uh, no uh, maybe more than 50% is with timkin skf is also no equally you know there nei is now picking up no they have a collaboration with brenko so no and then uh, no uh, fg also there okay so so my question is more on the um, from the marketing front of it is that actually that we are seeing that there is obviously the uh i mean the investments of the government on the railway infrastructure is increasing and obviously there is also a transformation which is happening in the type of the rolling stock right from icf to lc lhp and whatever uh yes it is skf yeah, yeah. so uh, what i'm trying to understand is that that is uh, the all the four players were there in the market are they have the sufficient do they have the sufficient capacity to cater to the increasing needs Yes, you know, or uh, or there is still scope for someone, uh, some some other place to get into the. No, I think one thing, you no, know, getting into is very difficult because of all these, you know, you have to go through one two zero eight two that testing, you no. Know, if you don't have the testing, you have to do the testing to get into that. Okay. That only other option for you is you go to Europe. There are also very few rigs are there that will cost you fortune, and you know that will take years together to get uh, tested. 
so it is a long duration you know approval process so okay and uh, rds also very strict they are very clear about you know their requirement mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it is very difficult to get into that okay for uh, uh, i want to add what uh, upadhyay sir has added out for any bearing example if you want to change a small cage or a spacer of plastic uh, you know it takes a complete validation cycle and uh, minimum requirement is uh, maybe around 0.6 million kilometers and we have to for 24 by 7 and it takes a 6 months time approx and a field trial so any implementation in uh, are monitored by rda so it takes a span of around 1.5 years with approvals so that's the reason any change or any uh, uh, product uh, definitions if you want to introduce it's always a time taking process in railway industries as it's again a safety no very tough <laughs> and rda so is very clear no and uh, anything no even uh, we have recently changed our uh, seal no uh, just we shifted from one supplier to other supply we have to run and you know they are asking approval from ar so that takes you know another two years and sometimes they will ask the field trials you know data so because it is you know risky thing you no know, particularly passenger they are very clear you no know, uh, they don't want to take any risk you no know, they want to see all the approvals so very 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 difficult we uh, struggle so much you know to change anything you no know, one small change you know is very difficult because the risk involved is also uh, very high so and uh, we don't have any you know uh, authority here to approve we have to go through 12082 or ar sir sir related to this you have already mentioned that the risk cost around 10 to 20 crore yes suppose if a independent lab is required to be set up in india yeah Yeah. So, can you estimate the cost for such a project and the construction? Maybe fifteen crores. Yeah. yeah. Because because, because one thing, no, you have to maintain the whole room into twenty degree, you no, know, plus or minus one degree, and vibration, you no, know, everything, you no, know, it, it is it is very difficult. No, I don't have because we do everything in house. Maybe the SKF, maybe. So I think this ARIA is doing. It is an independent agency. Like that, in the lines of that, something can be built up because gear for gearboxes and all, it is having that testing. No, <laughs> no, no, that is right. See what happens. No, here the load involved is no in tons. Automotive is not so high. No, see here we are talking about. No, if you go with the class K or you no know, GG, it goes to 40 ton. No, the axle weight. So you should have the hydraulic cylinder. We should be able to apply. No, 20 ton on each side. so that is a you no know, uh, very difficult it is no ball bearings are there only on the transmission side it is there but not on the because these are all correct yeah see earlier you know we had you uh, know uh, crb and uh, srb but now we are changing because one thing is you no know, taper roller bearing it is a line contact whereas you no know, in case of you know srb it may be you know not a line because you have a spherical surface or spherical so the load carrying may be much better and also here you can set the bearing depending on the speed no you can change the setting no but that option is uh, not there in any other bearing no if you take a crb or srb you have only the radial internal clearance no to adjust you don't have but taper roller bearing the advantage is you by moving no the outer against inner you can change whatever the clearance or you know preload you want in the system you can achieve Uh, thank you for your kind attention and thank you for all the speakers, um, uh, especially uh, this uh, this uh, uh, regarding railway bearings uh, by Guru Rajji and uh, uh, Timkan bearings, Sri uh, Sri Rajji, and it was uh, 
very good uh, insight and informative presentation, especially the historical trends also they covered, how we came from uh, plane bearings to up to this uh, taper roller bearings and uh, the steps for standardization, like uh, and they how, how this uh, design manufacturing and uh, testing is to be going to how they are covering through 12081, 82 and 83E and the million standards. And especially and very good um, deep uh, design insight uh, was provided by Dr. Gonzalez into selection of uh, this gas turbine bearings, high temperature, high speed bearings, and uh, their performance testings. And, uh, and uh, he also dwelt deep into some one of the subjects uh, which I am very interested that refurbishment uh, I heard and I uh, just want to learn from him how this uh, is done because I have heard for first time refurbishment of bearings. And uh, thank you, thank you very much. And we will have the detailed uh, question and session next.